Western European papermaking history really begins in the early 12th century. Arsh itself began in 1492 as one of a group of mills. The most important thing that the papermakers began to realise is that they could actually develop the raw materials into papers that did specific things. Paper is really important in watercolour because it's part of the final piece that's going to be seen. I like in my work to make sure the paper is really high quality so it takes the paint really well and keeps the intensity of the colours. The most important quality is that it needs to be really strong and durable. It's got to be able to take a lot of water, a lot of washes. One thing that's very important given that the painting will take 10, 11, 12 months, is that in month six you don't get any surprises that they're spotting where the colour is being absorbed unevenly. The process arch follow guarantees that the paper will remain stable and likewise all the Windsor and Newton colours are all light fast and uh, built to endure. The important distinction of watercolour paper is that it has great internal strength, great surface strength, uh, allowing an artist to work as vigorously as they might want to. Where our paper mill is, is well suited to making watercolour paper because of the weather conditions and the temperature allows for slow drying. The longer that drying process takes, the more resolved all the tensions between the fibres are and the more stable the paper will be. One of the things about watercolour is it isn't just the paper. The paper has to work, but so do the paints. It's completely appropriate that Windsor and Newton should now have a link with a, with a very good watercolour paper. It makes sense.